you're familiar with solids, liquids, and gases. But did you know there is a fourth state of matter, plasma, which makes up 99% of visible matter in the universe? On Earth, we come across plasma in a number of natural forms. For example, lightning or the northern lights, aurora borealis. But we also know how to make plasma and use it in our everyday lives. Take a flat screen television, for example, or the fluorescent tubes that illuminate our public or commercial buildings. Atoms are composed of a positively charged nucleus of protons and neutrons surrounded by a cloud of negatively charged electrons. When atoms are subjected to high temperatures, millions of degrees Celsius, the electrons are separated from the nuclei, creating an ionized gas that we call plasma. In the center of stellar bodies like the sun and the stars, gravitation creates the pressure and temperature that causes hydrogen nuclei to fuse. In these hot and dense centers, atoms never rest. And the hotter they get, the faster they move. In the sun's core, where temperatures reach 15 million degrees Celsius, atoms collide at very high speeds and fuse. The fusion of light hydrogen atoms produces a heavier element, helium, and very large quantities of energy. To reproduce fusion in a laboratory on Earth, scientists use two isotopes of hydrogen, deuterium, composed of one proton and one neutron, and tritium, composed of one proton and two neutrons. A plasma provides the environment in which these elements can fuse and yield energy. Creating fusion requires maintaining a very high temperature plasma inside of a torus-shaped chamber called a vacuum vessel. Huge magnets surrounding the chamber create a magnetic field capable of keeping the plasma in suspension away from the walls. What is the purpose of creating fusion in the laboratory? The demand for energy in the world continues to rise. However, the use of fossil fuels such as coal, gas and oil produces pollution and greenhouse gases. Fusion fuels are widely available and nearly inexhaustible. Deuterium can be distilled from all forms of water. Tritium will be produced during the fusion reaction as fusion neutrons interact with lithium. Terrestrial reserves of lithium would permit the operation of fusion power plants for more than 1,000 years, while sea-based reserves of lithium would fulfill needs for millions of years. Fusion reactions release four times as much energy as nuclear fission reactions at equal mass. Hydrogen fusion does not emit harmful toxins like carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gases, or produce high-activity, long-lived nuclear waste. As a new source of clean, safe, and reliable energy, fusion could make a positive contribution to the challenges facing our planet.